What is going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another very exciting mod to the Dodge Challenger. Now, if you guys enjoyed the last video where I installed this Challenger emblem and decal on the back of the tail lights, you guys are gonna love today's video because uh, like I say in every video, this is a modification I've wanted to do for a while. And you know, it takes me a while to really commit to a modification because uh, once you go there, sometimes you can't go back. Um, and that's the case in today's video. Once we install today's modification, there's not really a way to go back. And that is because in today's video, I am installing Mopar hood pins. Yep, you heard that correctly. So I'm actually gonna be installing hood pins in these sections right here. There's one right here, and there's one right here. And we're gonna be drilling through the hood in order to install these hood pins. And that's the part I am most scared about. And I actually ordered these hood pins about a month ago, but I haven't committed to this because I've been going to several different body shops trying to see if they would do it and how much it would cost. Really, I've went to like three different auto body shops and all of them have pretty much said that we don't really wanna do it, but if we do it, we're gonna quote you an insane price because they don't wanna take the risk of drilling through the hood since this isn't really like an OEM type of installation. I mean, really the only modern era Dodge Challenger that comes with hood pins is the Challenger TA and that's an option that you can order straight from the factory and I'm sure you guys have seen those but there's not really a body shop that does that kind of work. And so all the body shops I went through, they're really good at doing, you know, original OEM um, specifications, but when it comes to doing like custom fabrication stuff, they just didn't want to risk doing it. And so, you know, I'm going to invite my dad over. He's actually going to be helping me with this installation because he's a lot more experienced in like drilling through metal and doing that kind of stuff. And so I'm definitely going to rely heavily on him. I was almost ready to even return this modification because I was kind of scared about drilling through my hood. Because once it's done, it's done. If it's done incorrectly, you got to get a whole new hood and then you got to repaint it. I mean, it's a whole thing. And so I'm really nervous and really scared, but I have faith in him and our ability to be able to do this. And I'm going to catch it all on camera. So if this video is uploaded, that means that, well, the hood pins went very well. Uh, if it's not uploaded, then obviously I'm without a hood and I'm waiting on a new one to come in and I'm a lot of hundreds of dollars out of pocket. So let's get started with this installation and see what happens. I'm going to document the whole thing from the installation of the hood pins and where they're placed into the vehicle and then drilling through, obviously, the hood of the car. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it went well. So stay tuned. All right, so just a quick overview of the items that you're going to need. Most of these items on the screen actually come in the kit that you purchase. We really bought three main items, which is this one and one fourth size hole saw. Uh, we bought a one inch drill bit for the plastic. The hole saw is for the metal. And then we also bought a 764 drill bit for the pilot hole. So we'll show you the process.
All right, so the hood pins are completed and they look amazing, exactly what I thought they would look like. So let's do another final shot here, even though I know they had a better shot during the daylight. But that's what they look like there. And you know, they just flip open and you can pull them out. And then when you're putting them back in, you just flip them back. Um, same on this side. And then I just put it in uh, just kind of near the Challenger and near the RT sign over here. Uh, but you can put them anywhere you want, really. Overall, I think it looks fantastic and exactly what I wanted it to look like. Now, let me talk to you about the installation process. Overall, I would say it's really easy. Um, the install itself is super simple. If you can unscrew or, or take out some bolts and screw them back in, then you can do this installation. It's not hard, especially because the kit that I purchased, which I'll put a link in the description below, I got it off of eBay, so hopefully the link is still active when you're watching this video, but um, I'll also put the part number in the description below so you guys can just Google that part number. It's a specific Mopar Genuine OEM hood pins. You guys can Google that and find whatever product you want, but I'll also put a link to the eBay uh, website that I purchased the hood pins at. The kit that I purchased came with instructions, so it made it a lot easier, uh, but even if you don't have instructions, it's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing super complicated. The most nerve-wracking and the gut-wrenching part is drilling through the hood of the car. I mean, that is the part that it isn't necessarily difficult. I mean, if you have the right tools and you have all the right measurements, then I mean, it's just drilling through a hole, but it's really difficult to make sure that, you know, you're lined up correctly, that the hole that you're drilling in through is gonna match exactly with the hood pins. I mean, that whole process, again, not very difficult, but if you make one little mistake, it's unforgivable. Like, you gotta get a whole new hood. And so that's the part that makes this modification hard, um, even though it's not really a hard modification at all. I mean, the installation process is super easy. It's just not for the faint of heart. That's why I trusted my dad because he has a lot more experience doing this type of stuff than I do for me to drill through the hood of the car. So uh, if you have someone who has a little bit more experience, you guys can set everything up and then just have them drill through it, make sure everything is lined up, then that's what I would recommend. Otherwise, try to do it yourself. Like I said, it's not hard. It's just uh, kind of gut-wrenching because one small mistake and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely was a little bit scared and really excited to do this modification and I love how it turned out. I'm probably actually going to go for a cruise right now just to test it out and see how it looks. But overall, I am very impressed with the hood pins. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's installation video. Uh, find me on Instagram at Schwazy underscore. And also catch me at the next video. I will hopefully be doing a pretty cool car review, so stay tuned for that. Uh, that should be the next video or perhaps the video after that. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a wonderful day.